Listen, I know the Giants are a mess right now, and I know it's the theme of the season to just constantly complain about the Giants, but we got to talk about one thing. Where on earth is Brian Burns? What is going on, guys? What is going on, 27 Squad? Welcome back in to another video. And yes, we've got more sound panels. Absolutely. I had to do it by necessity because of what happened. Um in that live stream versus the Cowboys. But listen, I've recovered. I've recovered the aftermath. I've, I've calmed down. Um, you know, not only is my parlays still not hitting, but the Giants aren't that good either. Listen, this is this is a bad year for me as far as football goes, okay? Um, usually, I hit my parlays. Usually, um, you know, I, I've, I'm more excited about the Giants. And it's just so hard, so hard to keep my cool this season. And listen, yeah, I'm wearing my postal shirt, okay? Because I'd rather wear the USPS than the New York Giants on my chest right now, okay? I'd rather pump up the US, the United States Postal Service than than represent the New York Giants right now. But before we get into that, I want to talk about today's sponsor, BetUS. Make sure you guys check out BetUS for a 150% sign-up bonus up to $2,000 on your first deposit. And the second and third one are 125%. You're not going to get a better deal than that. Check out BetUS for all your betting needs. All right, but in all seriousness, I really wanted to come on here and talk about Brian Burns and, and Shane Bowen's defense in general. I think this is a really, really bad strategy, a really bad scheme, and it's extremely outdated. Now, I don't think Shane Bowen's scheme is very Vic Fangio-ish, but I think this Vic Fangio-type defense needs to, like, retire from the NFL. Like, playing this soft zone coverage, um, you know, zone playing back in zone, being very conservative, I don't think it's a very good recipe for success. Shane Bowen's scheme... It always didn't sit well with me when the Giants hired him, and a lot of a lot of the the Giants fans and 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 Giants media guys talked about how Shane Bowen and his uh, stu stuffing the run, his resume in stopping the run with the Tennessee Titans. Um, is something to know and that could translate to the New York Giants and with their defensive line but honestly we have not seen any of that yet even though we have Dexter Lawrence and Kayvon Thibodeau and Brian Burns but that's exactly the problem see the way they ran things in Tennessee is they had really beefy guys up front they had strong defensive ends a strong defensive line and a good defensive tackles that can stop the run. So far, we just have Dexter Lawrence, and that is it. And forget about just stopping the run. How about rushing the passer? This is supposed to be one of the best defensive lines in football, especially on paper. It had a lot of high expectations, even by the general NFL media. But we live in a society right now where Brian Burns, Kayvon Thibodeau, Dexter Lawrence, and whoever they want to put in that defensive tackle just cannot get it done. And why is that? Is because I don't think Kayvon Thibodeau and Brian Burns can win consistently on one-on-one. -on -one. Forget about being double-teamed. Dexter Lawrence is double-teamed almost every time he takes a defensive snap, and he is forced to try to overcome that, and for the most part, he does a good job in doing that. But you got Brian Burns and Kayvon Thibodeau, who, Kayvon, we already know what he is. I mean, Kayvon is nothing special. As much as we try to make him that, he is not anything special, but I really want to focus on Brian Burns. Now, Brian Burns is being paid as one of the highest paid defensive ends in NFL history okay he signed a five-year 141 million dollar deal and all those incentives like if he hits all the all those incentives which would be a good thing it would translate to being five years 150 million dollars which is 30 million dollars a year but as of right now his annual salary is 28 million a year and that is a huge number and we all knew it doesn't matter who you were you, we all knew that Brian Burns did not even, uh, his resume doesn't say, you know, five years, 
141 million dollars 28 million dollars a year his his salary his resume did not speak of that i think the new york giants did this sign and trade in a projection trying to trying to project how brian burns career is going to turn out and listen i i supported it i felt like brian burns has not hit his prime yet and maybe the giants can get that out of him you know the giants have one of the best defensive line coaches and andre patterson very highly respected felt like he had a good chance here not having to be the only guy on that that defensive line because i expected more out of guys like dexter lawrence and cave on thibodeau but we have not seen Brian Burns elevate his game whatsoever. We all knew that as of right now, he really made his money and really found success being kind of a one-trick pony. Everybody knows that Brian Burns is not great versus the run. He is not an edge setter. He is not a guy that's going to, you know, uh, bull rush a, a tackle to get to the running back. He's just not that type of player. He is a strictly a speed rusher. He's not a speed to power guy. He's not a guy with multiple skill sets. He's just a speed rusher off the edge and with his best move being that um, outside spin back into the inside and getting to the to the quarterback that way and he can he can be on matchups he can he can take advantage off of matchups where uh, for example against the Cleveland Browns Dewan Jones Dewan Jones is one of the biggest players in the NFL he is absolutely huge he's an absolute mammoth on that offensive line and that is a great matchup for Brian Burns Dewan Jones doesn't have very good lateral movement, can't reach out very far, and is very slow. Brian Burns took advantage of that, and he had a great game versus the Cleveland Browns. Also had a sack on Dewan Jones that wound up being a strip sack. It was a great play. Fantastic. But Brian Burns, we're paying Brian Burns to be a game changer, to be a guy that just doesn't take advantage off of matchups, but is consistent no matter who is lined up ahead of him. I had a brief conversation with Carl Banks. I love Carl Banks, but every time I try to have a conversation with him, he pays more attention to the to the trolls and trying to to get a one up on the trolls and and get all clever on the trolls instead of like having an actual conversation with me. And I give no disrespect whatsoever, and he just completely cuts off communication. But I told Carl Banks this. Carl Banks put out a tweet that said, The fact that some of y'all are attempting to trash Brian Burns is flat out stupid. Take a moment and grade his every snap, then jump back on here with all that negative-ish. I said, worth every penny, right, Carl? You pay $30 million to an edge rusher to be a role player that does his job, right? He says... Players are worth as much as they get. So listen, he's just skirting around what I said. And I, I told I said this before. Brian Burns is being paid to be a game changer. You if if the Giants wanted to get themselves a role player, like Carl Banks says he is, a guy that just does his job, and don't blame him because he's just doing his job. Then you, the Giants should have just re-signed Jahad Ward, who did a fine job just setting the edge and making sure running backs don't bounce it to the outside. Jahan Ward was pretty good at that, and he was rotated in on running downs to be that type of player. It, it, at this point, that's all Brian Burns is, I guess, what Carl Banks is supposed to be doing. So why are we paying him $30 million to do that job? And then I said, I have so much respect for you, Carl, so don't think I'm trying to be argumentative, but that is not a good enough answer. I want a role player. I would have resigned Jihad Ward, whose job is to set the edge, and he did it well. The Giants paid Brian Burns to be a game changer. Shane Bowen's defense relies on four-man rushes. He's the highest paid on the line, more than Dex. Two pressures in a game is unacceptable. And check this out. PFF gave Brian Burns two pressures but according to next gen stats and i think um pro football reference they gave him zero pressures against the dallas cowboys and i know the dallas cowboys are supposed to be having a good line or but it's terrence Steele for crying out loud it's terrence Steele on the right side of that offensive line you're not going against a guy like like lane johnson or on the other side like like tyron smith when he was there you're going against terrence Steele. Bottom line, this defense is not for Brian Burns. Brian Burns needs to take advantage off of stunts and blitz, and when there's absolute chaos, his speed and ability to get inside off of those spin moves 
it can work well with a lot of blitzes. That's why he worked well in that Cleveland game because Shane Bowen completely got off of his game and um, in a good way and used a lot more man defense, used a lot more stunts and blitzes, and we were able to get to the quarterback eight times. It seems like they reverted back to how they usually play against the Dallas Cowboys, and you saw that it, it is not good. I don't know why they just went back to that. I don't know if it's a pride thing. I don't know if they just, that, that was, you know, that was what they planned on or whatever the case is but these four man rushes are just not going to get it done brian burns can't win one-on-one -on -one consistency consistently and neither can cave on thibodeau we're asking that we're asking dexter lawrence to do it all at that point because at defensive tackle two you either have nacho who isn't much of a pass rusher at all and then you have elijah chapman who's great but is not going to see much success as a undersized defensive lineman we're all rooting for him but come on we're not really expecting him to provide much brian burns is the highest paid on this defensive line and he just looks like a normal edge rusher and on top of that, I will give a little grace to the defensive line as the secondary hasn't been doing them any favors either. Again, Shane Bowen's defense is a lot of soft zone coverage. It's not a lot of pressing on the line or man coverage or anything like that. So guys are getting open literally off the snap. And you saw you saw players like Jaden Daniels take advantage of this. You saw, da you saw Dak Prescott, who is a very experienced um, veteran, take advantage of this and just take what the defense gives them and Tay Banks, who is not a cornerback one, um, constantly getting abused out there. And when you get somebody open off the snap as your first read, you're just throwing the ball. You're not even giving any time for your defensive line to get there. It has to be a connection there with the uh, defensive line and the secondary working together to try to get to the quarterback. The secondary has to be able to not give a good look or not force anything open to allow the defensive line to get there. And in turn, the defensive line needs to get there as fast as they can so they don't uh, you know they don't allow the secondary to get exposed over a certain amount of time they have to work together and so far we haven't been seeing that brian burns where are you <laughs> but i am telling you right now that motherfucker back there is not real it just seems like every time the giants go ahead and get a big name free agent player that even the general nfl is like very very hyped about it just never works out uh yeah brian burns kenny galladay uh you know darren waller uh you know Kadarius tony everybody talked about him i mean it, it just it can go on and on and on. The Giants can get a lot of top name free agents and they just never work out over here. And when they leave, they're stars. So I don't know what to make of it, guys, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you guys put a lot of blame on Brian Burns? Do you think he's just a guy doing his job and just doing what he's asked to do? With all that being said, I am KB. Uh, thank you to BetUS for sponsoring this video. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new. We'll see you all next time. Woo!